Hey, it's Mel. So in this uh, video, we're going to actually kick off a series, all right? And what we're going to do is compare different screencasting software. And this actually relates to an article I wrote last year about different screencasting software that you can use. I get asked that question a lot, uh, but what we did not do in that uh, video or in that uh, blog post was to compare the different, you know, uh, screencasting versions. And some of the ones I want to compare is Camtasia for Macintosh. Uh, Camtasia for Windows, um, also known as Cam, uh, Camtasia Studio. Uh, we'll also talk about Jing, which is all three of those, by the way, are owned by TechSmith. And we'll also talk about Screener, which is kind of the Jing's counterpart, but that one, uh, Screener is owned by uh, Articulate Global. And then we'll also talk about Cam Studio, not to be confused with Camtasia Studio, which is done by TechSmith, but Cam, Stu Cam Studio is sort of a Windows version of an open source screen capture software that you can download for free. So we'll take a look at that one. And then we'll also take a look at another popular one for the Macintosh side, which is called ScreenFlow, another favorite of mine. But uh, we'll do a comparison of all of those different types of software. And because many of them will actually already do basic video capture of your computer screen, we'll need some kind of a benchmark for comparison. So that way we're not just comparing the basics, right? So some of the, some of the, the, the key ones that I like to use when I do my screencasting that are important to me is uh, cursor effects. Uh, it's very important for being able to capture or to be able to show different parts of your screen. And so cursor effects and cursor animation becomes very important. Don't, don't, don't do that. Hey, what are you, what are you doing? <sighs> okay, I hate it when you do that. You know it makes me woozy. <laughs> Whatever. I hate it when cursors go rogue. Anyhow, so cursor effects are definitely important to me. Sit. Okay, so cursor effects are definitely important, and uh, so we'll be talking, looking at those because it's important to show your viewers different parts of the screen whenever you're doing screen capture, but also some other animation effects like having multiple video tracks, and then also being able to have multiple audio tracks is also important for being able to have some flexibility there. But we're also talking about um, annotations, and again, many of them will have basic annotations like squares and text, perhaps, but and also maybe pixelation. Pixelation is kind of important, so you can hide those passwords or screen grass, certain uh, aspects of your screen. So pixelation is also important, but also keyframing and animation of some of those annotations and those callouts will be important. So we'll take a look at the, uh, the annotation comparisons. All right, so this is going to be part one. And uh, so if you want to uh, tune in to all of the, uh, the, the follow on ones, make sure you subscribe. If you're hitting me on YouTube right now, make sure and hit the subscribe button up above. And if you're hitting me on my blog post, make sure and you hit the, uh, the subscribe button below. It should be fun. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to do this because really in a way I'm going to have to use screen capture software to capture a s software that screen captures. It, it's kind of like time travel movies. We'll work it out and uh, in any case it should be fun. So tune in, make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll do more in the next video. Take care.